Well, and the level of gull contempt, it makes it kind of easy to get into fear instead of faith. I get that because there's so much going on. When you look at the fact that, just take, for example, and you touched on it, the little girls that went into Damascus and blew up the police station. You know, there was a video circulating on Facebook, a seven- and a nine-year-old little girl, the father strapping them with explosives, waging jihad, because, of course, he says in the video, jihad is the most important thing. Look at the Muslims. Can that mall that tore down that Christmas tree? Oh, that's offensive. Christmas is offensive. There's never been a time when there's been more gull contempt for Christianity. We're in a complete war. Erase our culture. Erase our Christianity. There's this disgusting Muslim site. It's called Secret Jihadis. It's a social media site. It publishes lists, actual lists of churches, the addresses, where they're saying, hey, you lone wolves, go blow these places up. Can you imagine if a Christian pastor posted on social media, oh, go blow up some mosques. Even those San Bernardino Muslims, they expressed on social media what their intents were. The University of Maryland just came out with this list of demands, and these Muslims want prayer rooms in every college across America. Some of them even want buses 30 minutes away to mosques. These devils come into the West and they want to eradicate our culture, our religious beliefs. We need to know who's coming into the country. We don't want another Germany. Embrace multiculturalism. Yeah, that's got Europe really pretty far, hasn't it? You know, Loretta Lynch, Penn, hey, we don't want to hear any anti-Muslim rhetoric. They don't want to hear a Muslim rhetoric. That's because they're all Muslims. Ash Carter, John Brennan, Loretta Lynch, Penn, I could go on and on. Listen, I'm not a politician, God knows. I could be elected to nothing. But the point is, and I don't want to be elected to anything, and God bless those who run. But I think what's problematic is this, that those Beth Moors and others who are a wannabe prophets or secretly telling everybody they're a prophet and they've been wrong so many times. And for the record, one more time, Sheila, I wish I never had to say this. In all the years I've been on talk radio, I do not consider myself a prophet. A prophet is a specific ministry gift as detailed in the book of Ephesians. However, the Apostle Paul says that we all may prophesy, that we prophesy in part, let the prophet speak and, another, and the other prophets judge. But you see, the, the word responsibility is really critical here. Simply, because you think you won't be responsible, I'll tell you the most horrid words that can ever be said to any man or woman and mostly before the uh, great white throne judgment is depart from me, ye who work lawlessness. I never knew you. Yes. So when you, uh, you know, these people like whether they're women or men, you know, then that means to me that they are giving their tacit approval to everything that those entities stand for. I'm so sick of the uh, Lucifer embracing doctrines and I call them, <laughs> no, I can't say that, but I'm being kinder and gentler. <laughs> the Lucifer embracing anatomical seating structure, does that sound better? Yes. Of people being more concerned with public opinion and public acceptance, you know. Here's the deal. Jesus made it simple. They're either for me or against me. I have broken off friendships of 20 years, and I know that uh, Mario Morales said not to do this, but if the Lord tells you to break it off, break it off, okay? Yeah. If, it's, if it's just over the election, nah. But if it's over a fundamental principle, in this case, you know, a friend of mine who's been a friend for 25 years, a former pastor, he is absolutely convinced that, you know, we ought to go to war with Russia. And so, I, you know, I, I said to him, I said, look, that's insanity. Do you understand what nuclear war is about? And by the way, I did write, you know, extensively about it, about everything, shielding factors. I mean, that, my first survival catalog was 100 pages of nuclear war survival skills. So I, I think I get it a little bit. The bottom line is the smugness coupled with stupidity, coupled with irresponsibility, coupled with jealousy, coupled with apathy. There you have a perfect and purposeful denial of the faith, in my opinion. A perfect and purposeful denial of the faith. So how should we then live, to quote you know, Francis Schaeffer's book? We should live like we are ambassadors for the Lord Jesus Christ. And, and by the way, I got an email the other day. It was funny. You're no real Christian. 
real Christians don't do this, real Christians don't do that. And by the way, it was a nameless coward, okay? Yeah, so here's the thing. I only share this that I've never seen, and let me get your take on it. You're a woman, but you're also not a pacifist. Have you ever seen such a wuss generation, okay, a meow man generation that you're seeing now? Now, even the even the Muslims are making this statement. You guys can't even reproduce because your fertility factor is so low. And, and they've made the statement, with their women's wombs, they will overcome the West. Well, let me share this. If you didn't plan on, and, and I'm not saying, I, I, I'm just saying this, if that thought process is there and you're teaching little Johnny from the time he's, or little Amir from the time he's two or three to hate Christians and blow them up, then the greatest purpose in life is to become a, you know, a suicide bomber. There is no hope. It's got to change at a fundamental level. And I'll tell you this, that the idea that is being promoted right now is, look, we've, we've watched the destruction of the military. And I make this statement. I want to clarify. The head of all the military is the Secretary of Defense. We've seen the Secretary of Defense pretty much under this rule and reign of the Commissar destroy the armed services. But they did it in a different way than most thought. They allowed everything and anything to come in and to pollute the sanctuary, meaning the sanctuary, meaning you could be any form of belief, anything in the world, no matter how satanic, no matter how evil, no matter how wicked. But if you were a Christian, you were punished, you were demoted, or you were kicked out, or you were ostracized. And so, and, and I want to make this clear. Uh, Marine sent me an email today and saying, well, that's not true of the Marine Corps. It's not true of the Marine Corps. And God bless the Marines. I mean this. This is not a statement towards the fighting men. This is a statement towards the hierarchy. And I think we're up to, what, 420 replacements of uh, generals and yeah. senior level military and admirals. Okay. So do the math, ladies and gentlemen. And then if the Secretary of Defense, and by the way, you can look it up on the Internet, if the Secretary of Defense, I'm saying if, I do not know, and if the head of the CIA, which it's reported that he converted to Islam, and if he's converted to Islam, then he has to believe in jihad, and the CIA is the ones generating under his leadership all this nonsense about the Russians hacking and attacking. It's like someone griping that the Titanic sunk, and they're the ones that blew up the hole in the ship, meaning the WikiLeaks. Yeah. You see, they changed the argument. The argument is, hey, this has nothing to do with the Russians. This has everything to do with a violation of every national security protocol. You've got foreign agents registered as foreign agents. And by the way, let me tell you this. I've interviewed enough spies. The number one way to compromise a male if you're a woman is with a female agent, just sexually seduced. The number two way is if you're a gay man to use a gay double agent to sexually seduce. Now, it's if you're a uh, bisexual or preferably a lesbian to use a lesbian to seduce. It's called a honeypot. This isn't rocket science. So when you have someone who has skirted the vetting of all background checks and even the background checks is that don't even bother. You see, that's what people don't understand. Security clearances can be granted by those in authority without any background check whatsoever. The thing is, is that we're, we're at a time now where it's coming in all directions. And I don't know what's happening in the geologic realm. I mean, when I say happening, where I know what's happening. I just don't know when the big one happens.